Right, all right. Yeah. Brother man has to get that headset together, huh? Yeah, man, you know, sometimes when I got my iPad and my iPhone, Bluetooth, I will never connect to the iPad first before my phone. Okay, okay. Are are you are are you driving? What 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 are we doing right now? No, I'm at home, man. I'm packing so I can leave. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I was because if you're not driving and if you're at home, if you could talk to me through the phone, it makes for better audio. Oh, okay, let me uh turn this off then. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Oh, okay, let me uh turn this off then. Teron in the building. All right, my guy, we just uh we we just gonna get into it, man. So you 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 a driver from out of Texas? This is where your number's being pinged yeah. at. Yeah, I live in Texas. Oh, okay, okay. What well, what part of Texas you at, my guy? Fort Worth. Oh, okay, okay. The deep. So what what what's that little area right there? The D the DFW. DFW. Yeah, DFW. Oh, okay. Metroplex, yeah. Okay, okay. How, how long you been down in Texas? About six years. See, I fuss with Texas, man. That's that's that that's my state, man. Shout out to Texas because that's where majority of my uh, you know, subscribers is based out of. You know what I'm saying? What you know about chopped and screw oh, okay. music, bro? Oh yeah, I've been messing with it since forever. Oh. You know, even before I came down here, oh. you know. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, All right, so I'm this... from Chicago, so you know we had, uh, you know, we had that twisted and all that, but mm -hmm. you know, I was still messing with the uh, chopped and screw though. All right, so let's get into it. So you, you, you originally from Chicago? Yeah. Okay, so what, what, what you, what got you down to Texas, man? Man, you know how Chicago is, man. It's rough out there. You know, my son growing up teenage and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know, it's time for us to make a move. You know, I am one trying to have him out there in the streets and stuff like that. You know, it was mainly about my son, you know, staying alive, not getting mixed up and everything right. or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, it is uh it's 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 a rough life out there and it's rough for truckers out there, man. I, I tell you, I just got finished uh having a <clears throat> messed up week, bruh. Messed up week. Uh, Chicago did me wrong, man. So now it looks like I'll be doing my doing my thirty four out here on the road here up up here in the up in Nebraska, man. I don't even know, but it ain't about me. It's about you, man. So how long how long you been driving? Two years. Okay, okay. So you just uh so you just got in the game. You still fresh? You're not a rookie. I'm not gonna call you that, but you're still a little bit of fresh. Um. All right, so we 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 about to jump in the jump in the conversation, man. We we talking about Super Eagle, man. Come on now, we talking about Super Eagle. What's what's man. all right? So before uh before we get started with the Super Eagle talk, um, I just want to say, guys, that this is this young man's experience. Uh, what he has experienced with the company, his experience may not. You know, may not roll over to you guys' experience and vice and vice versa. So, in other words, what he says is all about him and it does not reflect nothing on the host or the Lockout Man podcast show or the uh or the recruiter call channel. So let's get into it, man. So I obviously, uh how how did you come to find out about Super Ego? Somebody referred you or you just you you just found them on one of their Facebooks. What what's up? Yeah, pretty much an ad came through on my Facebook. You know how the algorithm works and stuff. So I was like, you know, they was talking about eighty eight percent. You know, they taking twelve stuff like that. You know, it sounded pretty good. And then you know, out of Chicago, so I figured I could take my home time some time out there since you know I got people out there. You know, it sounded real good to me. You know. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so of course, just like everybody else, you know, y'all, y'all see the ad, y'all, it's all over Facebook, all over Instagram, you know, big ass, big ass sign right there on, um, what's that? 294 
right there on 294, mm -hmm. Super Ego. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they hot. They coming up. But, um, but yeah, you got in there. What was your experience coming into the door, man? Like, uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I know like your transportation, and I think hotel is covered by you. You have to cover all of that. Yeah, I had to pay for my own flight there, and they they'll put you up in the hotel, but they gonna take it from you later on down the line. Mm. So they'll, so they'll they'll put you up in the hotel, but they they'll take you they they'll take it back from you in uh in in your settlements and everything, right? Yeah, right. All right, coming in the door, your experience, uh, orientation, all that good stuff. What 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 what's up with uh, what's up with all of that, man? Well, for me, the first person I talked to just lied to me for no reason. Mm. So uh, I told him what kind of truck I wanted, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we got that, but uh, we don't got it. We don't got the keys. You know, we got to get a key made for it." Because uh, they said that the last driver of the truck took off with the keys, you know. So I looked inside the truck, and it was like, you know, the guy was still living in there. Mm. So, so, um, so wait. I, so this, what what kind of truck you you asked for? You you asked for a brand new truck, or because I know, like, no. I know, like, if you get like a. If you get like a newer truck, you have to put some money down. And if you get like an older truck, obviously somebody else was in it. You don't have to put no money down. So that's that's the truck you was going with the 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 one that you didn't have to put no money down on. Well, the truck I wanted was the Kenworth uh, 2021. So I didn't have to put no money down on that one. Now, if I wanted a 23, that would have been five thousand down. Mm. And I wasn't finna give nobody five thousand dollars, and I don't even know how I'm gonna like you. Right, right. You know. Okay, so the Ken, yeah, so uh, so the Kenworth in the yard, no keys. Was was what's going what's going on with that, bro? Right. So he told me that the last driver just took off with the keys, but then, like I said, when I got inside the truck, you know, all the stuff was still in there. So later on in the day, I go back out to look at the truck, you know, I'm taking pictures of it, you know, pretty much doing a little preach up on it. And he pulls up next to me, the guy who who had the truck before me, he pulls up next to me in the, in the brand new can work. So I'm like, this your truck right here? He said, yeah, I'm just moving my stuff in and out of it right now. Huh? So I'm like, why, why did they lie to me and tell me that you took off with the key and they got to get one made? That was a red flag right there. Right, that you they 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 made it they made it like dude just abandoned the truck. Right, that's how it was presented to me, you know. Mm. And so that wasn't even the case. So I'm like, why is you lying to me for like for no reason? Okay, so old boy pulled up, pulled up on you in a in a in a crisp clean Kenworth, and you you about to get the hand me down. Like why why did why did he leave that truck in the first place, man? I, did did you did you ask him that? Did you ask the driver what what's up with that? Because that why what did it, because of a newer truck something had to be wrong with that truck in order for him to get up out of there, man. See, I did ask him that. He said he didn't like the way it drove. That it took too long to get up speed, and it had the um uh, what you call it the um about the speed. Oh, it was a govern because they'll let you take the govern off their trucks, you know. So he he said he liked the way the new truck rolled better, how it got up to speed better, and it, it already didn't have no govern on it. So that's what, but, I mean, to me, the truck was fine. You know, I drove the truck. The truck didn't have no issues. Mm. So I think he just wanted something new. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so all right, so you got uh he got his stuff out of there, you got up in there, cleaned it up a little bit. Uh now that you now that you got the truck, what what's your experience uh with the dispatchers getting loads and stuff like that? 
Uh, do you get do you get the dispatch from the dispatchers themselves, or do you or do you get um or do you go on a low board and and find the dispatches? How that work? God damn, Jimmy, this is some serious going made shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze dried tasteless choice, right? <laughs> and he brings this serious gourmet shit on us. What flavor is this? Knock it off, Chewy. No, they dispatch you to Lowe's. You know, there you can't get on any low board and get your own Lowe's. They dispatch you to Lowe's. In other words, so, uh, in, in other words, they control your money, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you why they do that. Go you ahead. Why in a minute? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Did the flow's yours? Yeah. So the reason why they ain't gonna let you pick your own loads is because they taken off the top. Like, say your load originally is like twenty four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? They gonna come at you and tell you, well, this load is only a thousand dollars, and then they taking twelve percent off of that thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So they already skimming off the top, then writing up bogus uh, rate cons for you, and then taking part of, you know, that they 12% off of that. So they they coming up out of, you know, they taking like $1,000 from you. Each load you're doing, or okay. however much they take it from you. Okay, now let me see if I understand this. Now, now everybody know I'm, I'm, I'm not a lease driver, so, you know, I learn, I learn everything from what I, from, from the people I talk to, so... Let me see if I understand it. So let's say theoretically you they 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 book you a load. They they find a load for like what you say for like twenty four hundred dollars. That twenty four hundred dollars mm -hmm. is supposed to go to you, or yes, okay. So that twenty four hundred dollars supposed to go to you, and they only supposed to percent of that. Okay, what? Okay, so if they they find a load. For twenty four hundred dollars, and eighty eight percent of that load goes to you, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're getting okay. So from what I'm hearing, you you getting eighty eight percent of twenty four hundred dollars that they got. How is they? How is they taking more money out of that? Because. Because they're not telling you the load is twenty four hundred. They're telling you the load may only be a thousand. Oh, so in your head, you're thinking this load is a thousand dollars. Oh, and you're getting the eighty eight percent of the thousand dollars. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh, they double dipping. Yeah, they're scheming off the top. You oh, know what I'm saying? okay, okay. My my bad. I'm. My, I, I may be a little, I may be a little late to the party, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. So, <laughs> so they, so they book in the low $2,400 from the broker. Okay. The broker say, yo, you know, lows $2,400, bam, bam, boom. Let's make the deal. The driver slash lease. Okay, yeah, we got a load for you that's a thousand dollars. And you like, okay, this sounds good. You you accept that, and then it's 88% of a thousand dollars. So let me let me see if my calculations is I know I know 80% of a thousand dollars is eight hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So you figure another eight percent. So uh eight hundred. Eight hundred and eighty dollars, or is it a little bit more, a little bit less? It's about eight sixty, something eight, like that. Oh man! So that's like what? That's about what? About a about an extra two? What two forty? No, 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 two forty. That's that'll be eleven. Uh. 140, let me see, 100, 900, 140. So they not only getting 140 from you, but they took the extra grand that they got the that they got it for. So they giving you, yeah, they they giving you chump change while they taking about a 
What about a, a 1100? Yes. Is they exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, you know what? It's funny. You're uh, now to be honest, to be honest, you're, you're not the only driver that's that has said that. I, and I, I, I'm the type of person that if one person is talking about it or saying something about it, you know, you probably might have to put it as a, as a gain of salt, right? You know, it, it, people would think that you disgruntled and, you know, and people would just think that you, you know, feel some kind of way because, of course, this is your experience and, and another person has not experienced that. But if you got like, right, I see. if you got like a handful of people damn near saying almost identical to what you're saying, then some, something's wrong, bro. Why? Okay, so why, if, if that's the case, then why is this company so freaking popular and everybody is running over there to Super Eagle? Because just about everybody I know is, is literally running over to Super Eagle and, and, and getting on with them, bro. Why, why do you think, in your opinion, you know, why, why do you think that? You know, they probably think it's not going to happen to them or, you know, oh, man, every company does this. You know, they, I mean, that was my thoughts. Like, man, everybody does it. You know, I'm thinking it's probably like a couple hundred. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking it was like no real big money. But, you know, I've come to find out it was. And uh, I know the thing, I was going pretty fast, man. You know, people just need to start doing their research on these companies. You know, that's how I came across you. And your podcast, because I'm looking up J&R. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying. There's not a lot of stuff on Facebook, on YouTube about J&R, you know. I appreciate but, uh, that. I appreciate that. I pretty put, I, I pretty much put J&R on the map. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them in a little bit. So how, how long have you, well, how did you, let me ask you this. Because, you know, we, we just going by, the, you know, theoreticals right now. Well, it actually happened to you, but on my part is, the, you know, theoretical. How long, how how soon did you know that 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 Super Eagle was uh was was skimming off the top? How how did you how did you come across that uh on your settlements or how how did you know that they was that they was doing that to you? Well, I ran across another Super Ego driver on the road, and he, you know, he talked, he told me about it. And so, uh, you know, sometimes the brokers will call you themselves and ask you where you were, stuff like that. So the broker called me, and I ended up asking him, you know, like, man, how much this load is right here? He was like, oh, man, it's about $3,000 load right here. Mm. I was like, okay, all right. You know, he says, they'll tell you, you know. You, and, uh, you, 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 know, would, I you would kind of think that Super Ego will be like, hey, bro, uh, I know you got to call my driver and everything, but, you know, can you just keep it to the logistics? Because it seems to me that these brokers is loose-lipping. <laughs> you know what I'm... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, that's... I mean, hey, look, listen, I'm, I mean... I, that's a good thing, especially if you're, if you're the type of driver that's that's like, well, you know, I'm about to go off on my own, and it's a good deal that you know these brokers that calls me because to be honest with you, that's that's how I, I I'm, I'm not gonna lie when I when I started my uh when I started my uh roadside business back in the day, I was um uh, you know I was through Papa Lock and it was a franchise deal. So we would get our settlements of the companies that would, you know, that we, that, that we, uh, uh, hooked up with. So basically what I did was like, shit, you know, dude taking a percentage out of my money. I, I, I could cut out the middleman and do this shit myself. So what I did, mm -hmm. you know, what I did, I called Geico, called Road America, called, uh, you know, call uh 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 Vista Travel, the, the the cell phone companies, 
And you know how easy it is to get contracts with them? I lost that bitch. I hooked up with them, and I was like, bump that. I got all the money. So, I mean, I I get that the brokers is calling you guys and, you know, giving y'all giving y'all the gist of everything. But I'm just saying, if if everybody is saying the same thing, bro, I, I don't know, Super Ego. You guys might need to talk to y'all brokers and tell them to keep their damn mouth shut. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, don't help them screw us over. Don't help them screw us well, over. No, <laughs> I don't want it. Hey, I, I'm just saying. I mean, I, I'm just saying because, like I said, you you, you, and everybody else, you, you're not the only one that says that. And I'm like, well, shit. Uh, if the brokers is so freely telling you guys, like, hey, bro, yeah, it's, uh, it's this, that, and the third and all like that. I don't know. Super Ego should be feeling some kind of way like, yo, y'all, y'all need to shut up. <laughs> y'all, y'all need to shut up. But on a, on, but on a for real, though, I on, on a, on, you know, we, like I said, we, we can laugh at it now. But on a, on a for real, though, man, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I always say don't mess with the driver's money. I'm, I'm with you on that. Don't, don't mess with the driver's money, man. I mean, if you, if you guys get the load, if you're a broker the load for one price, give it to that driver for the price that you broker the load from, and then just take your little percentage off of that. You know, and I I, I don't think right, that you will have like any uh, no no drivers. issues. It's not like they hurt for drivers. It's not like they don't got a million drivers. Exactly. You know, so they percentage, you know, should sustain them. But now they want to be greedy, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, right, so I tell them, I wait till I get, I got a load from Minnesota. I ain't already made up my mind, I'm going to take this truck back. Because, you know, if you don't take that truck back, they're going to put it on your report. Yeah. That abandonment. And, yeah. And, you know, it's going to be real hard mess, to get a job then. Yeah, mess with your money and mess with your, uh, and try to blacklist you. Yeah. So, uh, while I was getting unloaded in Minnesota, they calling me like, what you think about the company? And I tell them, what's up? And I told them I'm leaving, you know, I'm finna drop this truck off. And they come talking about, well, uh, do you wanna take a load to Chicago? No, for what? So you can ride me some more? You know, I mean, first of all, I didn't even get my last settlement. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I dropped the truck off. It was already three other guys over there dropping their trucks off for the mm. same reason. And they Damn. already had my truck rented out to somebody else. Damn. Before I even got there. So we got so we so we got a revolt. Well, I mean, it, it, it's like that with all trucking companies, you know, the revolving door. But goddamn, bro, you 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 dropping your you you going back to drop your truck off? You got like three, four other people dropping off their trucks too. But then again, of course, they already got somebody. They already got three, four, five guys already online to to, to come and keep their trucks moving, man. Is that a yeah, because when Is I got a... there, it was already somebody else there waiting for my truck. He, I was, you know, oh. he was asking me questions, and I'm like, who are you? He was like, oh, this is my truck right here. I'm like, damn, man, they didn't rent out the truck before I even got, got it back. Wow, bro. Is that is is that a good concept? Because they 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 well, they turn they they turnover rate. Must be through the fucking roof, bruh. And I suspect nobody has ever finished a lease purchase program with them. I mean, they got these other two guys who got YouTube channels. You know, they do whatever they do. You know, they show their favoritism to certain people. Right. But I don't think anybody has ever even finished the lease program with them. I think they'd be on that because one guy told me, you know, he did that and they... Once he got down to the nitty gritty of it, they fired him. Now I don't know mm. what was going on. If he's telling the truth or not, I don't know. But I heard companies do that. You know, when you get down to the end of the lease agreement, they'll make up some bullshit and fire you. Mm. So I mean, I don't know about that. Mm. But they turnover rate is super high. Super ego. Mm. Well, <laughs> well, T, man, that's. That's crazy. Oh, okay, so how how long was you actually with them 
before you decided to uh before you decided that this wasn't for you what i don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is okay i'm the one who buys it i know how good it is when bonnie goes shopping she buys shit i buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when i drink it i want to taste it but you know what's on my mind right now it ain't the coffee in my kitchen it's a little over a month because you know it was really pissing me off that they were stealing my money for my hard work how many so you've been there for a month how how many miles do you did did you did you clear and you you don't have to you know tell us how much you actually made because you already said they they didn't give you your last paycheck yet but uh what what was what was what was some of the money that you just ballpark some of the money you was making throughout the week cuz I'm you you get paid every every week every week or every other week Every week, every week, seven months. All right, so uh, man, first, you know, just be like, you know, this is first week ballpark, second week ballpark, and the third week, and we already know the fourth week is on hold. So what was what was the three weeks ballpark? Uh, I say in three weeks, the most I ever made with them was like 1400 But then they took out because I had a blowout, and then the very next day, my airbag was punctured. Somebody punctured my airbag at the truck stop. Mm -hmm. And so that, that took all my money. That took all my money getting that truck fixed. They said they was going to take it out, and, you know, a little this week, a little that week, man, they took it out in, whole, in one whole while. Wow. So, in other words, do you guys have it? Did, do, do they set you up with... Well, for maintenance, account? I mean, no, 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 no maintenance account. Everything is your responsibility from what I'm hearing from every driver that and I have talked to. And you don't even get no, uh, no fuel discounts. None of that. You know, what if they do, they keep all that shit for themselves. You know, it, it's, it's terrible over there, man. I wouldn't recommend nobody to go over there. Super ego, man. Look, you know, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm, you know, I'm biased to everybody. I give everybody equal opportunity and all like that. Um, but man, though, no, no fuel, no, no fuel surcharge, no fuel discounts. And you're responsible for every, sounds like everything on the truck from a blowout to, Whatever little things happen, you're you're responsible for it. And and out of the three weeks, because the fourth week they kept your check, out of the three weeks, you only got fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that that was one of the best weeks I did there. Was the fourteen hundred dollars? That was like the second week. I never saw two. My goal was to make two thousand dollars a week, right? And I never even got close to that. Uh, Wow. Mm. So again, Minnesota, you was on the load. You and that's when you just said, fuck it. Let me go ahead and uh try somewhere else. When uh man, super ego. Mm. Woo! All right, guys. As I said before, this, you know, this is this driver's experience uh with super ego. Uh T, thank you for you know sharing your story. Uh, about Super Ego, let's switch gears for a little bit. Uh, you, of course, went back on a, you know, back on the search for another trucking job. And where where did J and R Swugu came into play? Um, where did I see them? I think I saw I saw an ad for them too on Facebook. You know, I was putting in apps everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. I was putting in apps everywhere, and um. You know, it sounded pretty good. I wanted to go back company anyway for things I'm trying to do in my personal life. You right. know, so uh, you know, I talked to them. Everything sounded pretty good. You know, it always sounds good. Right. I just right. Have to see how that worked out. All right. So you uh you 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 called up J and R Swoogle. Uh, you talked to one of their recruiters. How was uh, how how was the conversation between you and the recruiter? Was it was it a good one? Did you 
Did you learn anything from it? Obviously, it must have been good because you you starting with them on Monday. So how 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 was the conversation? Oh, she she was oh uh, real nice, nice woman, you know. And uh, when she answered everything I needed to know, only thing she really didn't know about was what the truck actually comes with. You know, I was asking her about inverters and APUs and stuff and refrigerator. She really didn't know nothing. She really didn't have any of those answers. But I well, was like, whatever. Well, I'll take it out. I mean, it's been it's been over a little minute since I I I personally been with Jane R. Swoogle, but I when I I I don't know I I I don't know the culture there now. You know, maybe it's different, maybe it's changed, but I know when I got there, the inverter you had to pay for it. Um, they would install it. Um, I think the inverter that I got. Uh, costed me about a hundred, a hundred dollars. They took fifty dollars out of out of one check and fifty dollars out the other check. So whenever you quit, you know, just make sure you tell them, hey, give me that inverter because a lot of times when a lot of drivers quit J and R Swoogle, yeah, the inverter is what they leave up in there because of course, you know, they already upset because whatever the case, they leave in the company for. So that's a free inverter. Don't do that because when what happened to me and why I left, yeah, that was the first thing I told bro to do. Like, yo, hey, snatch that motherfucker out of there. I paid for that. <laughs> um, All right, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Like, so I got I got my own inverter. You know, it's brand new. I ain't never even hooked it up yet. So you think oh. I should bring that with me? Yeah, bring that with you, bro. Yeah, if you got it, bring it. I mean, you know, now listen, don't, don't bring everything in the kitchen sink. I'm, I'm, don't do that. But if you got, if you got an inverter, yeah, bring that motherfucker, bro. Because some of their, you know, like I said, I, I got, I, I'll give it to Jay and Arshugu. They, they, they maintain their trucks. If anything that they don't, that they do good is that they maintain their trucks. So you might look up with one that has an inverter in there or, if not, you 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 know you, you got your own. You could let them know, hey, I got my own. Slap this bad boy in. Another good thing about JNR Swoogle is that um, they got Kenworth's. Well, I, again, this I'm I'm only going by memory. That's about it. Uh, Kenworth's and Internationals, and the Internationals is um, uh, is L is LTMs or TM TM it's a it's it's the better model than a uh it's a step up model from the regular international. So you might end up you, yeah, you might end up they, in one uh, of those. Guess, I don't think they got those anymore. She didn't but, say nothing about that. She was what they, like King words. Oh, like King words. oh okay. <laughs> okay. What the act like I said it's look, it's been a little <laughs> minute for me, bro. Like I said, I'm I I can only go on to what, you know, on to what I remember. And that's why everybody was asking me to do an update, you know, to do an update uh, MTC on on them. And that's what I did. But, yeah, I'm, I'm shit, from what I went on, they, you know, I had a brand, my, let me see, I started in a, a 19 international, but then I got a, I got a white one a brand new white one that was like a 2022 or some shit. And then that motherfucking fire hydrant came out of nowhere, took out the front bumper. I'm just saying, yeah. uh, then they, you know, then they snatch, they, they snatch me in, uh, in, uh, in another brand, like brand new 2022. It was an orange one this time. So yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, like I said, they maintain, they, they, they maintain their trucks, man. But if they, if they stepped up to a, a Kenworth, that's even better. So this, you know, just make sure. Come out. Yeah, just make sure you, you bring your, your inverter with you. Uh, I'm not sure if they got refrigerators. I know mine didn't have one. I know the one, I know the one that, uh, old girl, the one that she was in, she had a refrigerator in hers. And as a matter of fact, I got to reach back out to her. It's been a minute that I talked to her. But um, 
Oh, oh yeah, man. Yeah. I mean. The so, Kenworths, man, mm-hmm. in my understanding, all Kenworths, they got refrigerators built in them already. You know, some some of them, slide, some of they, them do. Yeah, some they, of them do, some of them don't. I, I didn't even know they didn't. I thought they all came with them. Yeah, that's what's up. Well, you know, like I said, man, I mean, JR Swoogle isn't isn't a bad company. You know, like I tell everybody, they're they 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 isn't a bad company. It was just my experience with the company. So, but you know, there's there's a few people that's 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 been there for a while that let you know that J and R Swoogle, you know, they depending on who your fleet manager is, it will make the it it will make the time there uh bearable if I if 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 I'm safe to say that. Bearable. <laughs> well they good about like like how long do they expect you to stay out? Cause you know, I'm trying to be out like three weeks in home one week, you know. Bro, you can stay out as long as you want, man. <laughs> If you, it, it, you, you, you could stay out as long as you want, bro. Or if you want to, uh, you, you could stay out as long as you want or as little as you want. Or if you're on, uh, if you, if you're on a, a regional, like I was, I ran from Ohio all the way up to Minnesota and then from Minnesota all the way back to Ohio. That was it. But they had, they had another regional, which ran from, uh, ran from Ohio all the way down south, sometimes uh, sometimes Texas. But, yeah, if you want to stay out, bro, you know, just make sure you, you know, you get a repertoire with your, uh, your fleet manager. And if they like any other fleet manager, just show your tenacity, man. You know, just show that you want to do the work, show that you want to run, you know, make yourself up. Uh, you know, make 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 yourself uh to be like in the top three of the of the people that they give lows to and miles to. So there was another word. Right, because I, I don't got no problem. I don't got no problem staying out. I don't got no problem with that. All you right. Know, I'm so used to oh, you know what? It was another thing I wanted to tell you about Super Ego. Oh, go ahead. Okay, we're going to revert back to Super Ego. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. So you know how they be running their ELDs. You know, you can just call. You run out of time. You can just call up and get more time. Whatever mm. they do on their end. Mm. So it's like two o'clock in the morning. Okay. And I'm running out of time, so I call them to give me some more time. She's the ELD lady tells me. I need to go find a copy shop and make a fake BOL and change the timestamp on it. What? Like, what? Like, no way. No, no, T. <laughs> T, that, that's, that's not true. That's not true. Man, I'm telling you, that's what she told me. Now, I didn't called it before we get time and was never told that before. You know, but I don't know. This one who answered the phone, that's what she told me. And T. I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll do it, whatever. But I wasn't finna do that. T, are you serious? You are you serious? Um, the young lady actually told I'm you. Very serious. The young lady told you to go to a love somewhere, get up, make a copy, and actually change the time on the BOL. How would you change change right. the time to what? To make it seem like I wasn't out driving. Really like, okay, this is what time I picked it up. You know, if I ever got pulled over by DOT in the process, you know what I'm saying? I just showed them that that be a well in the time, which I don't know why they would want that, but you know, man, I was, it blew me away because, like I said, I asked them. I've called and got time from them before, and I was never asked that before. You know, they just did whatever they had to do, and then boom, I had more time on my clock. Wow, that was the first time that I was asked to do that. Wow, bro. So wait, so let's say you you didn't do that though, did you? No, I didn't do that. Okay, so okay, so you didn't do that. Did she still was she still able to give you some time back or no? Oh, 
My God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Yeah, she gave me the time. I didn't, there was no reason for me to do that. She was just talking about do that in case I get pulled over by DOT. And I, I got this BOL to show them with this timestamp. But when I get to the shipper, giving them the real BOL, you know what I'm saying? That's what she told me. You, you I'm know, like, man, I'm not doing none of that. You know, again, <laughs> again, uh, you're not the only driver that says this about their, you know, about their practices, man. And I, I would think with all you drivers coming out here, giving up the tea about super ego. Let me ask you this. When, when you came in, when you came in the door with super ego doing the orientation and where they was explaining everything, was there somewhere or somebody that actually came in the room and be like, Hey y'all, um, we, we want you to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which means you can't talk about shit that goes on here at the company. Have, have anybody came and, mm -hmm. and, and did that? Because a lot of the, I mean, again, you're not the first driver and I'm sure you're not going to be the last driver to spill the tea about Super Ego. But I would think Super Ego wouldn't want this type of information out there, bro, if they, if, if they doing those type of practices, especially with the ELDs. Because let's say the wrong ear from FMCSA hears this, they're gonna get they they gonna get they they never got audited or like they had to get Man, audited. Nobody ever came in. Nobody came ever came in and told us none of that. You know we ain't signed none of that. You know so I mean I don't even. I heard there's somebody trying to get a class action lawsuit. I don't know about all that. I don't know. But I don't understand how they able to even operate like this. <laughs> I don't understand how people letting it ride. Like, it's illegal as hell. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I you know what? I, I would tend to see that information like this information like this uh on on the company side looks bad but information like this on drivers that actually want to do that is is kind of bad too because like you know the drivers that actually want to do this you know because there are drivers out there that be like yeah gives it yeah i i, I run all day <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'll run yeah. all day you know you know keep my you know, keep my, my clock fresh all the time. But I would think those same drivers that's that's that does that will kinda kinda give a a a a, a snide look at drivers that's telling that that's telling this type of stories about the ELDs over there. Like, hey bro, what you what, what are you doing, man? Hey, I just gotta let the people know. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. What the what you doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Man, right. Mm, that's, yeah, the ELDs, man, I mean, you know, that's a very, very touchy, uh, 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 controversial topic. You know, companies want you to run illegal, you know. But let's say, you know, let's say you get stopped by DOT, man. You know that responsibility is going to fall back on you and not the company, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why I wasn't really doing none of that stuff, man. Yeah, it's going to fall back on you, and, and nine times out of ten, the company is going to protect the company no matter what. You know, so if you out here running illegal and, you know, getting time back and all like that, and, and you get pulled over by DOT, state trooper, or or even in an accident, bro, all that is going to fall back on you. The company going to be like, um, we didn't tell him to do that. He did that on his own. Hey, whoa, 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 wait, wait, right, wait. No, 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 we, 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 we didn't, 
We only just, you know, just said that the load got to be there. We didn't, you know, we didn't say that, you know, we're any illegal, you know, <laughs> or whatever the conversation they're going to have with, uh, with, you know, with that audit, man. But, bro, this, this, this ELD thing, if a, I can understand if you're running out of hours and you're you're trying to find somewhere to park and you need uh you need to go on PC to do that. I understand that. You know, you you're not gonna run PC all the way from one point of the world to the other point of the world. And I don't think a company gonna let you get yeah. away with that anyway. But if you need if if you need like maybe about an hour or something like that to find somewhere to park, you know, or if you're on your 34 or on your 10 and you want to go and get something to eat, yeah, but to actually augment your your ELD so you could just continue running. I I think that's a bad idea. I wouldn't suggest anybody do that. I mean, y'all do what y'all want. You know, I, I suggest that y'all don't, but you that type of driver and you feel confident in your ability to run and all like that and don't think that you're not going to get caught trust me i gave you guys all the check marks that happened to me so anything that happens it will happen y'all think it ain't going to happen take my word for it it's going to happen so if you think you not going into the scale house for maybe about a good year Trust me, you're going to end up going into the scale house. You don't think you're going to go in there and talk to them people? Trust me, you're going to go in there and talk to them people one day. And it might be, and it might be that day where you call yourself, hey, you know, I'm just, you know, rewind my clock back a little bit. Because them, them, they, they could tell, they, okay, keep, keep doing it. But bro, hey, I, mm, I I just I just think that this information, this tea right here, this all this kind of tea right here, because like I said, you're not the only one, but this kind of tea right here, I, I don't think the company want want any of that out. So yeah. Um probably might be something in the future that they might wanna might wanna talk about in a board meeting, I guess. I don't I don't know. <laughs> There's a, you know, more and more, like you said, more and more people coming out, you know, right. about how they do things over there. So I'm pretty sure they go come in somewhere with some type of legal something. But yeah, I ain't messing around with them no more. All right, that's what's up, man. And you already said that you you wouldn't suggest anybody go uh, anybody go there though. Right, I wouldn't recommend nobody to go there. All right, that's what's up, T man. Well, thank you very much, man, for uh, stopping by. I really do appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing your story. Uh, success to you over at J and R Shrugel, man. Um, I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping everything works out for you over there. Um, coming in that two years, where 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 they starting? Where they starting two year drivers at, bro? Uh, they got me at 63, 64, oh. 63, I think. Oh, yeah. oh. They got, oh, they got you what? Yep, 63, 63? Uh, the 2500, 2500 transition. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the new JNR Swoogle, bro. Uh, okay, well, so wait. I know I said we're gonna get up out of here, but give me give me about two minutes. Is that sixty three? <laughs> is that sixty three? Uh, including the per diem? Uh, or no I per diem? Nothing about no per diem. I didn't, nobody said nothing to me about no per diem yet. Well, I'm make sure, sure I find out a lot. Yeah, 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 right yeah. When you, yeah, when you go to orientation, find out about that because if it's including per diem, that means let's just say theoretically, your 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 base pay will be fifty cent, and then your per diem will be thirty. What was sixty three? 
it will be 13 cent. So your base pay will be 50 cent, which is tax. And then your per diem, uh, which is 13 cent, which is not taxed. So yeah, find out, find out all about that when you get to the orientation. But geez. Yeah, like I said, man, much success to you uh, with J&R Schwugel. I, I don't think uh, I don't think you're going to have a bad experience there, but still, you know, uh, just make sure you do what you need to do and uh, get a good rec uh, get a good uh, fleet manager, and you'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Not a problem, bro. I appreciate you, man, for being a subscriber. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. No problem. All right, man. Well, get back with me. Let me know how uh, how yeah. everything go with Hello? J and R Shrugal. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and yeah, I'll make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Oh, my pussy. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little.